But I've been on to the forensic boys. There's still no sign of the missing DNA data. Why haven't they got the results on the computer? There's been a mysterious virus. All the data's lost. Squire. <sighs> yeah, you're not really cut out to play with the big boys, are you? That's ah, better for everyone. Next time, won't be a Wendy house that burns. Hey, look at you. Hello. Mm. And with perfect timing, too. Come in. Bad things can happen to you when you're on your own. I mean, Daniel's got everything we need to put you away. You're bluffing. What is this, Woodson? You're trying to threaten me. You don't know what you're getting involved in, mate. I've told you before, back off and leave it alone. I intend to. Once I've submitted the evidence. You haven't got any evidence. I think we like. There is no evidence. I'll admit you've done a pretty good job of burying it. Poisoning Carter while he's still in custody was, was impressive. And then what, did you bribe the exhibits officer or did you handle it yourself? You're just guessing. And now you've managed to dispose of the evidence from Kachizitek's body. I don't have to stand here and listen to this crap. Why are you still here? You forgot about the other girls, Squires. What other girls? The girls from the brothel. The ones that you and Carter trapped into working for you. Nobody's going to believe a lot of illegal hookers. They recognised you. We showed one of them a photo. She's made a sworn statement that you were running the place and that Carter was just a puppet. It's not enough. No, it's probably not. Not for a trial and a conviction. Probably not even for an arrest, but that doesn't matter. Because it's enough to raise questions. Start an investigation. That's all we need. I didn't murder that hooker. You can't prove I did. We'll see. There's nothing that links me to her. It wasn't me! Then who? Who? Well, it couldn't have been Carter. How could he make evidence just disappear? You've got the reputation. You're the obvious suspect. Everything points to you. Wrong again. Well, who? Well, you're the one facing the investigation and the murder charge. Well, are you that confident? Hudson, I've got evidence to submit. It wasn't me! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, it was Leo Jackson. He got carried away with one of his sick old fantasies. Uh, no, but it's nice to have it confirmed. But you did kill Carter, didn't you? He told me before he died. You doctored his medication. Dude, that's enough! You think you're clever, don't you? You and that tart Daniels. But you've got nothing. It's all here, I say. A bunch of Polish prostitutes that do anything you say to stay in the country. It's not going to work. Do you hear me, Woodson? Loud and clear. Jackson's not going to like that, is he? Give me that! I can finish you right now! Go on, do it, go on! We're on CCTV, aren't we? What are you getting out of this? No, it's simple. You threatened my family! Place. <laughs> You're right, it is big for just me, but uh, such a great investment. Well, even so, I mean, I know I rattled around in my house after Mac left, but this is enormous. Don't you get lonely? Well, I'm at work most of the time, but... Uh, yes, you're right, it is a family home. But who knows, I may not be living here on my own forever. Where's Leo Jackson? You got carried away with one of his sick old fantasies. I know. It's good to have it confirmed, but you did kill Carter, didn't you? Ron, is it? But it's enough. Oh, honestly, Ronnie, what are you thinking? Is it enough? Oh, this isn't even admissible. You know that. Paula. <laughs> it's enough. Yeah, we've got him. Maybe. I'll need to get this downloaded. Yeah. All right, Lauren, don't forget the CCTV camera. We might as well get him on a charge of assault, as well as the murder conspiracy. Look, all right, I'll do it. As long as you promise no more heroics. Agreed? Yeah, I agreed. We should have a drink and celebrate. You can get me a coffee. I'll take a statement and then you're going to go home to your family, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yes, Detective Sergeant. Black, no sugar. Yes! George!
Hmm. Well, Mummy just might be in luck. You don't talk about her much, do you? No, I don't. No, I must have banged on to you about Mac often enough. Was it really difficult when you broke up? We grew apart, I suppose. Onto different things. Well, I guess you got a high-profile job that must put a strain on a relationship. No, not really. She enjoyed all that. No, the problem with Bridget was she was not very, um, flexible. She refused to try anything new. It became very frustrating. Oh, I see. I really hated her towards the end. She just wouldn't... Still, all that's behind us now. More wine. Mm, well, I'm fine at the moment. No, 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 please. No, no, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, for oh. goodness oh. sake. Stupid. Oh, I'm so sorry. Listen, I'm watching. No, 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 leave it. Down. Leave it. I'll get something from the kitchen. Julia. Mm. Now you really are spoiling me. I reckon this could give your tiramisu some serious competition. Really? Mm. Well, let's find out then, shall we? <laughs> Someone important? No. There. Now they can't disturb us at all. <laughs> You're an extraordinary woman, Julia. Hmm? Three kids, all doing well. A grandchild, though no one would ever believe it possible. <laughs> Flatterer. <from. laughs> a great career. Shares in a business, a partner, no less. Well, maybe I haven't done so badly. And yet such a lust for life. It's infectious. <laughs> What's so good for my ego? Do you know that? <laughs> it's my pleasure. <laughs> I know we haven't known each other very long. We've known each other for years. Mm. You know what I mean. And yet I feel a connection between us. Don't you feel it? Maybe. We both love life. We work hard. We like to travel. I think we're very compatible. And you know something else? I think I'm falling in love with you. Um, Leo, I... Shh. Julia? No, no, Leo. No, 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 no. It's okay. I, it hurts. I don't like it. Just relax. Seriously, Leo. You have no idea how much pleasure this will bring you. Oh, what do you mean? You understand me, Julia. You know what I want. No, I don't like it. Be still! <gasps> now, this may hurt at first, but you'll learn to enjoy it. No, Leo, please. No, Leo, don't do that. Please, Leo, stop it. No, Leo, don't. Leo! <laughs> Said we were safe. Well, we're not. You pushed it too far. Me? You didn't have to kill Carter, not in my own station. He was going to talk. And I wouldn't need to do anything if you hadn't strangled that hooker in the first place. I didn't mean to. Yeah, right. Don't push it. 
Woodson is good enough to have us investigated, and I'm not going to stick around to face that. Then why are you here? How much cash have you got? I'm not giving you money. You'll give me what I want. What is this Woodson evidence? The rest of the hookers recognize us. They know you killed Katia. None of them saw it happen. I told Woodson, OK? I told him, and he recorded the whole thing. You did what? It doesn't matter. Just give me money, and I'll get out of here. You betrayed me. I've been covering for you for months. I told you, if it went belly up, I'd be out of the country. Now pay up. Parasite. <laughs> Sticks and stones, Leo. I have to think of worse things to call you. Pervert. Sicko. Deviant. Psycho. <laughs> Hello, where are you? Is Bracken okay? She's fine, I've just put her to bed once. I'm looking for Julia. Do you know where she is? Um, out on a date with Leo Jackson, I think. Why? Not where are they going? I no idea, Ronnie. What's... No, I need to get hold of her, George. We're right about Leo Jackson. He killed Ketcher Zetek. He strangled mm. her. Squire's admitted it to me tonight. I've got to find her. Um, all right. Would... The thing is, Ronnie, they've been seeing each other for a long time. He's never hurt her. I mean, maybe she's fine. It's oh, just... come on, George. OK. Um, Donna. Donna will know where she is. I'll, I'll call Donna. All right, quick. OK. Hello? Donna, hi, it's George. Taryn Palmer, if I have to come up there one more time... Donna, I'm trying to find Julia. You are skating on very thin ice, young man. Sorry, George, you're trying to find him. Julia, she was going out on a date with Leo Jackson. Do you know where they were going? Uh, she did say... Taryn, turn that off right now! Donna, for goodness sake, do you know where they were going? Uh, I think she was going round to his for dinner. Yes, she was. I remember because she said she'd never seen his place before. Did she it... say where it was? Uh, somewhere on Fox Hill, I think. Right, she didn't mention a road name or a house number? No, why would she? What, what's happening? Is Julia OK? Yeah, she's fine. Um, it's a long story. I've got to go. Bye. Well? Um, they're at Leo's house. Donna reckons it's somewhere on Fox Hill, so I'm just looking up on the phone book now. Well, he's a high-ranking police officer, George. He's not going to be in there, is he? All right. Well, don't bite my head off. Um, we could try the electoral roll. Well, he's probably not going to be on that either. Yeah, well, it's worth a try, isn't it? Now, just give me a minute. Where are you, anyway? Oh, please don't. All right, here we go. Um, internet. Come on. Come on. Look, would you stop being so snappy? I'm trying to help here. OK, sorry. Anything. Oh, no. What? Doing that thing again. What thing? Well, that thing where it goes all funny. What is? The computer! Now it's crashed. Oh, you stupid thing. I bought you one, too. You can probably do with it now. Yes, I guess a good idea. Your brandy, Julia. Two sides, two completely different. I try to keep them separate, keep them hidden. Bridget said it would be the death of me. Now I can't control it anymore. Julia, 
Please help me. It's Ronnie. Squire's still at the station. No, he's uh, disappeared. But don't worry, I'm already... Right, Paula, where does Leo Jackson live? Why? Julie McGuire is with him. If Squire's warns him, then we... OK, I'll uh, send a car round. I'll go myself. Well, I'm in the area. Just tell me no, where... No, absolutely not. Go home, Ronnie. Look, you've got to get across town. Just tell me no where his address is and I can be there Stop being a minutes. superhero, Ronnie. You'll get yourself killed and probably Julie McGuire as well. I told you I'll send a car. Yeah, well, there's not enough time. It's me, Anna thing. Hi. Well? Um, well, I got the computer working again and I got to the electrical. Yeah, and? Well, you were right, he wasn't on it. Well, great. Yes, that's what I told you. So, what do I do you now? You could let me finish a sentence for a start. I phoned St. Phil's, I got his address through the records. I had to lie, but. Look, anyway, just give me the address, here. please. What are you going to do? Maybe you should phone Paula Daniels. I have. Ronnie, this man has killed once already. How can I send you over there? Oh, look, for Julia's sake, if something happens to her, George. George. All right, but you swear to me you'll be careful. I swear. Now, give me the address. Dawlish Avenue, number 68. OK. Ronnie. Don't be long now. Two minutes, I promise. Better. I am now. You know, you really are the most wonderful woman in the world. Oh, well, I have my moments. <laughs> <laughs> Leo. Mm -hmm. Kiss my neck. Are you sure? Of time. Why don't we just have a little drink first? Where are we 
gonna go to escape? I thought that we were going to make love. Well, we are. Later. Mm. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> So where are we going to go? I mean, the Far East? South America? I don't know. I, I haven't thought. Well, don't, don't you think that we should? I mean, I would feel a lot better if we had a plan, wouldn't you? I suppose, yeah. Yeah. So, um, I think we should talk about this now. The sun was just shining on the snow, and there was this amazing pink sunrise. And then we walked back to the cabin really slowly because we were so tired, and um, we just couldn't really wait to get to bed. Sorry, what were you saying? Um, just telling you about Canada. Am I boring you? Hmm. Well, there's no harm in that. Mm. I, haven't, I haven't drunk much, have I? Well, um, I mean, you've had such a long day, I'm not surprised you're exhausted. No, I don't, I don't usually. How, about, how much brandy have I drunk? Well, it doesn't matter, uh, really, does it? I mean, if you're tired, you can sleep. I'm not going anywhere. You put something in this. No. Yes, you have. What have you done? What have you given me? It's just a sedative, Leo. I'm, I was trying to calm you down. I mean, you were just so worked up. I, you weren't thinking straight. <laughs> you drugged me. No. No, I was, I was just trying to help you sleep. Yes, you have. Why would you drug me? You said you were on my side. I am. I am on your side, Leo. I'm just trying to help you. No, 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 no. You were trying to kill me. No, no, no I'm not. No, it, it, it's just a sedative, really, Leo. I mean, I, I, I got it from your bathroom. Where are you going? Come here. Come here. Leo, please. Why would you do this to me? Seduce me and then poison me like some witch! Oh, I'm just trying to help you. There's nothing wrong with me. Leo, you just killed a man. His body is downstairs in your hall. And you're pretending that nothing is wrong. Surely you can see. You said you understood. You lied! I'm trying to help you. No, you trick me, that's all. Always pretend, no. pretending, pretending. No! No! Pretend. Ah! Oh. Ah, help me! Pretend. Help me! Julia. Julia, it's me, it's Ronnie. Is he? I've been watching him, he's still breathing. Are you okay? He hit his head, but he's still breathing. I drugged him. I gave him four milligrams of diphtheraine, four of doxytricin. Ever the doctor's wife, eh? Ex wife. Did he hurt you? I think I'd like to leave that. 
Yeah, of course. Come on. The police are on the way. What do you mean for that? I could have now. Julia, come on. 